I'm checking my hair here. Sorry. Um, totally made it on time, I think. Let's see. We're going to do a live haul where I went to a pound store where they weigh stuff um, by the pound. It's a Goodwill store. And I'm going to show you what I found. So for any newcomers, let me open the chat real quick. It's, I just accidentally opened a new private window. I wonder what that really even is. Does anybody use private windows? Not me. So like less likely someone can hack into your, what you're doing online. Isn't that why you use Chrome? I don't get it. <laughs> it's a lot of things I probably don't get. Opening the chat, trying to find Gina so I can invite her too. Oh, uh, there's a chat. Paused it. Okay, video's paused. Mm -hmm. I got this song in the in my head from when I just was in the car getting my son from school. Almost done, guys. God, it takes forever just to get settled on the live stream. Okay. Ouch. Oh, it totally like hooked my hair into this necklace. <clears throat> okay. Y'all ready for a haul? It's going to be pretty long, probably an hour long. Oh, let me see. I can just send it straight to Gina right now. The invite. <clears throat> okay, Facebook. There's Gina. Okay. Done. Okay. Sorry, guys. And then apologies again. I don't have the items out of the bag. They are all still in the bag. So we'll just pull them all out individually. I'm not even that excited about this haul because... I can't think of anything that is like, I know I can list and sell it right off the bat and be like, this is a good return. Um, but maybe I just don't know. And then it's going to all be on my floor. So a big pile of mess. Okay, I'll text Gina too real quick. I'm going to tell her, you coming? Okay, I hope my Wi-Fi is working better this time, you guys. So I'll be able to tell here in a minute. I, for some reason, I think this is two different shopping trips, but it might be one, so... One of the trips I went on to the Goodwill bins was about $46 worth. Oh, Gina's still out and about. Okay, no worries. Okay, so let's get into this haul because it's going to take forever. Um... These are some vintage style shoes, but they're purposely, they're current, but they're made purposely to look vintage. These are by the brand Mushroom, Mushrooms. I don't wear them, but they're in really good condition. These are a size ooh, nine medium 
and they have a little bit of wear on the toes but not a lot as you can see uh, looks like it just needs to be wiped down too so two bucks is what I pay for all the shoes those over there I didn't even look these up they're kind of big which is unfortunate I think my bigger shoes sit longer don't quote me on that um, God, the lighting is terrible these are an eight and a half medium okay Ross Homerson I've never heard of them and they're Mary Jane kind of shoes and I thought they were cute like I might actually wear it if I had a certain outfit um, the heel just needs to be wiped down it's actually pretty clean so and these are fine leather uppers made in China nothing special two bucks Ugh. yeah this is my recent shopping trip to the bins nothing too exciting um, I did find this cool Nike hat I think it's brand new um, because there's no like wear on the inside and the what do you call this the bill is like really clean and it's still flat I don't know seems like it's new and it's a one size fits most pretty nice could give that to my kid huh for Christmas um he's in the other room this is a cheap little really cheap like faux fur faux leather whatever I had to think of the word there for a minute you guys know me uh, this is like forever 21 I think is it yeah really cheap forever 21 crossbody purse but it's pretty cute I can sell this um, in a garage sale any day if it doesn't sell on like posh or something probably list it cheap on eBay too I don't know um so everything is 75 cents a pound sorry what I'm showing you so the hat was like 75 cents or less the purse the same thing and then I came across all these tattoos you guys they're brand new sealed um, so these will be good for again garage sale like put a dollar a piece on them I'll probably only sell a couple but it'll make back the money that I spent on these um, what is this these are like pop-up collect them all pop-up scene maker so it's just an Avengers like party pop out with Hulk which Hulk is amazingly popular he's he's good so that's a plus um, on that. So there's one, two, three, four, five of those. They're all the same. And then these are 75 tattoos. They're all brand new, you guys. And they're Batman. Like, where did these even come from? Trendsinternational.com. I don't see Walmart or anything on here. Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice um, eight and up that's pretty old for an eight-year-old to be putting tattoos on huh <laughs> I don't know anyways they're brand new and you guys I have a bunch of these uh, 75 tattoos I don't even know hey baby gravy and DIY guy that'd be a good name too right DIY guy um, there's one, two, and then this is a completely brand new, like, multi-pack of them in here. Let me see. So, are they the same? Yeah, they have some upside down. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a total of eight. Brand new. These will be good like I can give one of these to my nephew for Christmas and I can put one of these in Ryland's stocking too so I'll leave two of those out and I don't know this is like a party thing isn't it I don't know if I'd give them one of these 
probably just end up in the trash. So I won't give them those. So we'll put these back. Oh. Sorry, back in here. Where is everyone Sh getting their kids? The kids just got off school. Mine's doing his homework and doing his chores. So at least I hope that's what he's doing. Um, and this, I had to get this because I pay a dollar for these at the Dollar Tree when I do go. Um, this is a Christmas bag. So I looked it over. I got it at the bins. So 75 cents a pound. I paid like 50 cents or less for this. And I'm looking it over and I don't see anything wrong with it. It's brand new. So this will go in our storage, Christmas storage for when we need it. Probably not this year. So, wow, 69 cents on clearance. Not bad, or I mean, 69 cents at the, it's vintage. This is from 1999, you guys. Anyways, total score on that, in my opinion. I love it. Put that there. So we're not done with the purse. I haven't even told you what brand it was yet. Oh. Oh, my lid is stuck. I can't read the whole message over here. I need to move the box. That could be another channel name for me, <laughs> right? It's cute. Cute, cute. Uh, dragging the screen. Hold on, guys. My nose is itching. <clears throat> Might help if I turn on this light. Not really, but a little bit. Um. Okay, so totally weird, but... Does anybody use this twist mop like me? Because I've been using the twist mop forever now. And I love that you can throw it away and just buy a new one. Well, silly me, I was throwing away the whole stick and the mop and just buying a new one every couple months, every three months or something, six months, I don't know, don't quote me on that, I think like every three months, maybe a little longer, I don't know, so I'd throw the whole stick away, probably every six months, right, and lo and behold, these are re, like, there's refills, so I'm no longer throwing away the stick, <clears throat> It sucks that I have to use my hands or put some gloves on because you don't want to touch the old mop. But it, I guess it does save you money. These are like five or six bucks um, at Walmart. And then the whole stick with the mop is like 20 bucks, I think. So I got a little smarter on using these. Um, and I found this at the bins. Look, it's brand new, sealed. I don't know what that label is there it doesn't have a price or anything um, but it does say from 2015 somebody had that stored in their house or something and they donated a bunch of stuff I don't know maybe somebody passed away and well, I don't know whatever but yeah it has an instructions I got really nervous the first time I tried to do this I was like oh I hope that I know how to do it figure it out because I didn't buy another new mop and I need to mop so yeah it, it was okay it took me a minute but it works so that goes over there in the kitchen um, I figured what the heck this is a really cute Vera Bradley like clutch Hey, Oreo kid. Um, I think it just needs to be thrown in the wash. The Vera Bradley is real popular. It's like a money thing. And I like that you can actually clip these to your keychain. A lot of the girls are carrying their wallet with their keychain. Um, so that's a pretty good idea. I think I'm going to wash this, though, and sell it or keep it. I don't know yet. Um, but, yeah, I totally got that. So this was a good find. It is really dirty inside. And I, I mean, yeah, it's stained right there. The, all the yellow right there. Um, I'll probably just list it as it is and not clean it. That's okay. 
maybe 20 bucks or more. I don't know. But this is a real Michael Kors purse. It is really scratched, you guys, on the buttons. But you can tell it's a real Michael Kors purse. Because um, the leather, it's real leather. The fabric is nice and thick, and it's not all ripped and damaged. Um, it's totally real good quality material. So, um, yeah. So I got that seventy-five cents a pound. That's a really good score right there. Where can I throw this? We'll just put it with the shoes over here, out of the way. Um, some toys. I don't know why I love trolls. I'm sure I'll sell that in a garage sale. Um, her too. I'll sell her. She's from Paw Patrols. But my kid has all the Paw Patrols toys. So I think we'll keep this with his collection. And one day when he's done, we'll get rid of it. So this goes the toys to sell. Ooh, what's in this purse? It's got stuff in it. Oh, Oreo, you better stop it. You're being silly. Keep it clean, okay? Um, we don't talk like that around here. Don't make me put you in timeout. <laughs> I'm sure you like that. Um, but seriously. Um, so I got this green purse. It's real, it's like vintage looking. But I think it's a good brand. I don't know because I didn't look it up. For chi bags and it says it's made in Spain so I didn't even look it up I know that anything made in Spain it's gonna sell so I got this cool like purse it's pretty good um, the straps aren't damaged or anything I've never heard of this brand but I do look forward to seeing how much it sells for real leather you guys um, Here's the corners. They're not damaged. The thread's out right there, but really good. 75 cents a pound. Okay, super jealous because this uh, lady next to me got a whole bunch of this brand. I've never heard of it, but it's got like 14 karat gold in it or something, right? It says beaten metal leaves with a thickness of. 0 0.07 microns uh, genuine gold colorant this product contains pure 24 karat gold from italy it's um oro gold cosmetics.com i'll show y'all right here oh if it's gonna come in oro i know you're joking but don't talk like that okay oreo kid um, Oro Gold Cosmetics.com, right there. Anyways, it's got gold all over it. However, she found a bunch of makeup or like facial lotions and stuff. I'm not sure how much they were used, but I don't think they were too much. But for some reason, she threw this back and she didn't want this, which is silly because this is probably the best part. It's sealed. But she did get some really big tubs, so I was super jealous. Um, I was like, uh, are you going to get that? Because if not, I totally want it to check it out and look on eBay how much it sells for. So this is like a glitter mask. Totally creepy, right? So it's probably some kind of spa thing. I can't wait to look this up on eBay and see how much one of these go for. And I'm pretty sure I found this card with it. And it was similar to what she had. Look, this says authentic, authentic, authentication card. Wow. So Oro Gold Cosmetics. Never heard of it. Um, yeah. Can't wait to look that up. So there was somebody donated a buttload of cards. This is... Oh, this is like sealed a two-pack. They hadn't even, the manufacturer hadn't even, it's got two pieces in it. Some store hadn't even broke these apart yet. Um, 
but they are on the back says five dollars and seventy seven cents each they're not opened these are money cards um with the card and the envelope whatever be jolly so there's two I got this one this is also money gift cards I don't really give much money but maybe I will I don't know I thought I could sell these too um, these are also five six dollars and seventy seven cents I was thinking of like a uh, corporate parties and stuff like that these would probably be good to sell online I don't know I don't know if eBay has a plethora amount of these selling um, but I'm pretty sure I have more in here I think so there's three packs there that's 10 oh my gosh 11 22 dollars no I lied 12 plus the seven here whatever for that and then there was an 18 pack of inspirational cards the meaning of the advent candles which I don't even know brand new Walmart box is what this is right I think the corners just peeled off so again 75 cents a pound was what I paid for all these and it says praying you're blessed as you joyfully welcome Christ into your home and hearts have a wonderful Christmas I have to sneeze 18 cards Woo, I got a sneeze real bad. Oh, yeah, and it's not coming out. How embarrassing, right? <laughs> um, okay, another purse, even though I have too many purses and they irritate me sometimes. This is Stella and Jamie. I thought it was okay. I didn't look it up. Stella and Jamie. But there wasn't anything wrong with it. Kind of looks like an anthropology tag to me, but silence. Or what is it? Stella and Jamie again. I already forgot. Um, look, and I threw something in here. The inside of this purse is in really good condition. Ooh, wow. Maybe this is the flaw. Oh, man. I didn't even see that. Look at all those studs. I was like, is it missing studs? But no. Holy moly. Rocking out. Look at that. None of the studs are missing. Pretty cool. It's a big bag and it's got a cute tassel. Like a really heavy one. It's like, yeah, I'll pick that up. Cute. It's like a brown color. So it's too big for me. And then I threw this in there. It's kind of a little dirty, but it's the cutest thing ever for like a cell phone or a wallet or something. Just like the Vera Bradley one. I won't be washing this one because it's got the plastic. Um, oh yeah, it's pretty clean. I actually need this for my Kate Spade purse. What I just got. Perfect. Guys, I ordered a Kate Spade. I've showed in two different videos. And then I'm trying to order a Kate Spade wallet. And the wallets are like more than the purse. So irritating. Like, I'm not going to spend $60 on a wallet. It's just not me. I know women do, but not me. What does it say? Oh, it's cool. It's the brand Natural Life. I think I'm going to keep this one. I don't know. It's kind of dirty right there. I need to wash it. And I don't like that it's white. So maybe I'll wash the Vera Bradley and keep that one. I don't know. Very cute, though, for $0.75 cents a pound. Okay. These shoes, I wonder if, okay, good. The hubby's not getting home yet with the kids. we still got time. Let me grab some scissors. I got to check out these shoes because I've never cut them out and cut them open to see what they really even look like. So they could be damaged, but I really don't think they are. Oh. Okay. Scissors. Oh, y'all see my unbuttoned shirt that has a broken button. Uh, send the link here. Hold on. 
Oh, you have to go live on your phone. You'll have to check it. Gina's messaging me. Hey, Tiffany C. Which bag? The Stel is Stella? Probably because that's the most recent one, right? Recent. I like slurring you guys. I don't know why I can't talk. I can't tell if it's real leather. It's real thin and cheaply leather. And the inside is pretty cheap, too. Look, it's got Stella wrote all over the inside of the bag. Is that the one you're talking about? I guess I need to list it soon. These shoes look absolutely amazing. Hey, Grandma Wrinkles, everyone's getting off work or getting home or something. These are like silk. Okay, as you can see, these, why is my screen all foggy? As you can see, maybe these straps are silky and they look so sexy. I can't wait to see it. I'm like excited. What size are these? They're not even my size, but they're a nine medium. And I don't like Donald Pliner, but geez Louise. So what are these? Wrap? Like you, oh, they're so cute. The silky ribbon like this. Oh my gosh, these look amazing, you guys. But I never have luck selling Donald Pliner. Made in Italy. Maybe if I can find the stock photo for these, I could get them to sell. Anyways, I rarely buy shoes that I don't cut open, but for some reason I knew this beautiful black satin ribbon was like freaking gorgeous. And they have this fugly silver thing right here. They're dusty as you can see. They're real good condition. What does that say? Oh, just the made in Italy again. Pretty cute. Two bucks. I bet they were like $100 or something in the store. I don't know. We do have a Donald Finer in my mall, but I wouldn't set foot in it. Getting the app now. Oh, that's a bummer, Gina. Let me, can I, I don't know how to paste it in a text. My brain can't function right now, Gina. <laughs> um, I'll just text her back okay. She said she's getting the app now. Not sure how to paste unless I opened my Facebook. Yes. Okay, my brain's working now, you guys. Hold on. I can go into my Facebook Messenger, copy the link there, copy. Because <laughs> I'm a genius. Around, around the ankle, yeah, totally. Okay. All right. I just figured out how to send the invite through text. Don't look at Facebook. Put it down. Yeah, around the ankle. Yeah, there's one more pair of shoes. Oh, my gosh. Look at these. I don't sell heels very much, you guys, unless they're like a really good name brand. But it's not often you find purple. And I love purple. I don't know why I don't put more purple on my eyeshadow. Because I used to love it as a kid. Um, but these are... I could see Gina wearing these. <laughs> Never heard of the brand. Icora. I-C-O-R-A. They are an eight and a half, all man-made materials. I hope that means it's a better quality because these are pretty good. That has some paint that can come off, hopefully. But there is a chip right there. But I still got them because I love purple. But these are not for me. 
I don't wear a nine, but look, they're Velcro, you guys. So, like, you can totally adjust it. It is amazing. They're like suede or another velvet purple. I don't know what this style is called. So, if y'all know, please feel free to let me know in the chat. They look so pretty, don't they? I think so. Okay. 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 I swear there's a bag hiding that I put and I was like, don't forget this one and it might be maybe I won't find it, but maybe I already did it just now. Let's see. Oh, this will be easy to show you guys real quick. Ooh, can anybody, if anybody's like got their eBay up, can you do some research real quick for me? I'm super excited. They had this behind the counter and they've been doing that where certain stuff they'll put behind the counter because they don't want it to get broke or uh, do I need a haircut? Like what's going on here? It's jagged looking. Um... They had this paint put back, and it is, I'll hurry up and tell y'all so you can look it up, but it's a window color, like you make paint on glass, um, and I have a whole, like, a whole set never opened. It's, well, this is a stencil gel. I don't think this is what I was asking y'all to look up, but... The ones I did want y'all to look up was window color. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. See, that one's um, stencil color, but these are all um, gallery glass window color. So you, it's stained glass is what I'm trying to say. You can create stained glass look. This is amethyst and it is newly sealed, packaged, and I have a whole buttload of these. They're two ounces. <clears throat> I gotta adjust this real quick. It's uncomfortable. Ooh, this is like the color of my lipstick from earlier today. Yeah, see this one I think is dried out. I knew I shouldn't have got these ones, but I know that these ones that are sealed, they should be good. Some of these ones here may not be good, but I went ahead and got like the paper stuff that comes with it. Um, there's even some kind of like glass, plastic, fake glass here. Hell, I would assume it's plastic. I hope it's not a, like a, yeah. It's not glass. Set of nine sold for $19.89 of the gallery, gallery glass. Thank you. Because I have like 20 or something. I mean, I'll show you guys. This whole bag is just full. And it had the original boxes, you guys. It was like a men's size 12 like shoe box. It was in a plaid box, and it was the original box for all this, um, but I didn't want to pay for the box, so the guys just let me have, um, We lo I looked this up. This is a full bottle of the window color crystal clear, I don't know. It's like you can see, it's almost full, but I think these went for like 10 bucks or something. This is the liquid leading or leading, whatever you want to call that. It, this thing's like full. I can't tell if it's dried out, but it's still moisturized in there. Um, there's another bottle here of the liquid leading. There's another bottle of the textured. Hey, what is this? Hold on, my nose is itching. Crystal clear again. Water base. I don't know what all that's. I've never done, um, like, painted glass like that before. 
so yeah, I have basically, yeah, they're not dried out. I was just going to grab a couple, like I have a whole bunch of these different colors. And then I have a whole bunch of these and most, they're all full, you guys. And we thought that they were brand new. Oh, okay, but see, it's not dried out. It's it's kind of thick, gooey, like a blob. When we opened them, you guys, like they've never been used. Look, or the, the thing would be punctured. All of these are new. When we opened them, they all still have a cover. If I can show y'all. Yeah, they're all sealed like that. So I just took a risk hoping that they're, these ones aren't all dried out, but these are really thick. I might have wasted my money on these. I don't know. Yeah, let's compare. Hey. Okay, that, that was like pulling teeth. You're in your car. Yeah, that was like pulling teeth trying to get this, trying to get this app. Really? Yes. I've I'm never, sorry. I've never gone live in my car before. Oh, you should well, try. I I thought you did it the other day. Well, I mean, like, with other people. I've only been done it by myself, so it feels weird. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I got to go somewhere, so I thought, I'm not going to leave you in the lurch. So what do you get? What are you doing? What do you got? Oh, that's not some paint. What you yeah, that's glass paint, and they're all sealed. Oh, do you know what? Those are Colleen's. Huh? But what do they say? What do they say? Gallery glass. You know what? Those sell at at um, Joanne's, I think, for at least three or four bucks. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of them, but I think these ones here are kind of dried out. But a lot, all the ones that I have, like these, are brand new. So I thought I'd go ahead and get this little instruction kit that comes with it. I guess uh -huh. let's look at what one of these are because I haven't even pulled this out. Wow. What is this? It's a huge, like... That's stained glass. A stained glass pattern. That's yeah. Isn't that cool, you guys? Yeah. It's never been used. That's cool. That looks like a stained glass pattern. Yeah, I've got two or a couple of them, too. I wouldn't be surprised if these patterns here alone sell pretty good, or... See, it's Tiffany Remembered glass, gallery glass, like this, you guys, if anybody needed. That's cool. This is the picture I just showed you guys, I think, right here. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That's cool. I'm glad I got this little set here to go with it. And I think it's vintage, because look at the... I don't know if it's vintage, but a little bit. There's the have a date. Look at the date on down the bottom. It should be a date somewhere down at the bottom. Yeah, uh, 1998. So it's not too vintagey. It's still vintage, pretty much. Yeah, a little bit. In the 90s. Super cool. I don't know anything about it, but I knew right away just because one of the bottles sold for like 10 bucks. I was like, oh, give it all to me. It's sealed. <clears throat> yeah, he's in there. How many? About. I don't I mean. know. Oh, let me see. Yeah, you got me curious now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, let's say like 17 or 18 of the brand new sealed, but then I've got probably the same amount of these. If they you what? You can see if the ones that are open, if they, if they come out. They do, but I think they need some liquid, like maybe some of this extra filler stuff. So if you can, it'll say it in the back. If it needs a medium, it'll say it on there. If not, it's just straight from the bottle. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, if, you, if, 
it needs a medium. I don't think those need. Well, some of it just looks dried out. You see how this one, Gina, is half? And yeah. look, it's, it's not falling over. Okay, what does it say? It has to be with a medium? Mm, I don't know. Instructions, do not shake or stir paint. It might be, it might be that way for a reason. It might be kind of um, thick for a reason. It says outline the pattern with simulated liquid leading, which is what I have here. So I don't know. I just still think you could add some kind of water or something to it and make it okay. come back to life, you know? <laughs> yeah. It, it might have to be that way. It might have to be yeah. a thick leading. Grandma Rachel says that someone sold 18 sealed gallery glass paints for 50 bucks. Is that yeah. plus shipping? Probably not. I'm sorry, I can't chat. Hi, Grandma Wrinkles. Who else is in here? Um, Tiffany, Mr. Just DIY. Trudy's here. I just saw her. Uh, hi, Trudy. Hi, uh, Tiffany and the other one. <laughs> sorry. Baby, baby Gravy, Georgia Parker. Oh, baby. Okay. Yeah. Oreo Kid pops in and out. Okay. Moving along now. That was easy to get rid of and show you guys. That was a um, good Grandma Wrinkle. Grandma, oh, free shipping, she said. Grandma Wrinkle says, hi, Gina. Hey. Woo, so I'm, I'm, I'm running to, uh, I'm in, I'm in Las Vegas, if nobody knows, so we're running out to uh, the post office and then Boulder Highway real quick for my kid. My kiddo is next to me. Hi, everybody. Hola. My, my, my blue hair, my blue haired girl. There's my blue haired girl. <laughs> That's my baby. It looks brown in this video. I couldn't tell. Wait, put it down. I'll show you right now. Well, actually, it's more mermaid now. Oh, wow. Now I see it. Yeah, that's that's my mermaid. My mermaid. My tattoo. That's pierced, my tattoo pierced to the kid. <laughs> yeah, but she's in the All right. Ooh, Here's that's the pretty. first. Yeah, it's silky soft. Too bad it's a extra small. Oh, it's yeah, that would look good. Kind of... That's cute. With the pink lace. It's by Express. Okay. Extra Express sells half. Uh, summer wear of our express sells halfway decent sometimes. Grandma Wrinkles says she has a blue hair girl too. Oh, all right, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this I, yeah. would, I would totally have worn this if it was like a large. Oh, you could get into that. I oh You're my so God, not with my big butt. You were so hard on yourself, I swear. Not my big butt. I got to put you into one of those classes that say, I am good. I am the best, you know? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Is that a, is that a burnout t-shirt? Burnout? Oh, that no, that's lace. No, yeah. It's lace. It's like a lace. This is a cute by eyeshadow medium. I was considering keeping this. Oh, that would be cute. You can put a tank under it. That would be really nice. Yeah. And it would cover what you don't like. Mm -hmm. It's got this cool brim. Oh, yeah. That's, that's elastic, I think. No, it's like a metal bead. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. So this How much is... go, go ahead. Oh, cute. That's a... What is that? Worthing... Is that beaded? Yeah, it's Worthington. Isn't that some okay. JC pennies? I think so, but Worthington... Um... It's... Worthington sells halfway decent. Well, it did before, but... It's linen and cotton, and none of the beads are missing. It's a size six, though. It's pretty small. I really like it because it's shimmery. It's got that silver gold look. Right. Put that. You need to put that up for uh, March and April because that linen is good. Everybody likes to wear linen during yeah. the spring and summer. Good deal. 
And I found this with new with tags. It's an extra large true destiny. But it's embroidered. It's just like a um mm -hmm. tunic. Baby doll. Yeah, I kinda like the baby doll. Like a swimsuit cover up maybe too. Yeah. Extra yeah. large. It doesn't seem like an extra large. No. Well no it's Oh, I like the embroidery on it. Nice and colorful. Yeah, it's super awesome. How much? How many pounds did you get at the bins? Well, I, I'm not. I think this was. I don't really know. I didn't grab my purse. It's in the car. But I, knew, I think I told you or someone I spent like forty six bucks. I think. That's not bad. Yeah, this one's uh, mon. Mono Reno? I don't know. I've seen it before. The tag's kind of fallen off. What is that? Oh, yeah. small. But it's just a tank, a long, long, like, tunic. Oh, it's a it's a, a tank dress. Yeah. Tank, yeah, exactly. There you go. That's what it is. Yeah. Those short, like short, short dresses. Okay, this is super cute, but it's, uh, well, it's a size 7, but it looks like a big girl dress. I don't know. Um, I would totally wear this, maybe. It's got a cut. Oh, got, yeah, it, that's a keyhole. keyhole. I don't have colors. boobs for this, though, but it sure would be cute on. And oh, yeah. It's kind of short, though, so. Got yeah. the exposed zipper kind of right back yeah. in there. That's a fit and flare. Fit and flare. Okay. Yeah, so it's a fit up top and a flare down the bottom. It's missing a belt, but that's it. Oh, that's no big deal. No. This was unique. Tempo Paris. It's an extra large. Um, oh, it's an ombre. It's an ombre. Yeah, it's got lace. It feels like this is silk. I'll have to look it up. But this is real see-through. Um, but there's a tank underneath mm -hmm. of it. And it's got, it crosses over in the middle. Oh, yeah. I have a plus size um, one I'm selling like that kind of color. Yeah. But not that color. Okay, Tempo Paris. Paris. Yeah, Tempo Paris. Let me see the silk. It's really wrinkly. But it feels kind of brand new, actually. Someone was like, oh my gosh, it's too wrinkly. Get get rid of it. I'll just steam it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. It's an extra large. Oh, I saw silk. I know I did. Did I not? No. 100% Zeta. What is S-E-T-A? I'm not sure right now. S-E-T-A is Zeta? Uh-huh, and then 95% viscosa, and then 5% elastomero. The hell? Where? That's elastomero. Um, like, um, like, um, spandex. Because it's but made in England, you guys. Look, you don't have it in English, too? It's not on the back in English? Uh-uh, because this is made in Italy. Oh, good one. Yeah. The fabric is soft, you guys. Huh? I'll show you the tag. It's not in English. Yeah. Look at that. Seta, S E T A. I wonder if that means uh, silk in, <laughs> in Italian. Because it feels silk for real, y'all. No clue. This will be interesting. Uh, my, daughter, my daughter was looking it up, and it's just a branding. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I'd have to look it up um, at home. Sutta apparel. Yeah, it just, my daughter says it's Sutta apparel. Apparel. I have no idea what that means. Is there an R in Sutta is silk, says Trudy Clark. Ding, ding, ding. I told you all in a couple oh. videos ago, like, I can feel silk now. I know the difference. You know, you just know when you feel silk with your hands. It's like a raw feeling, yeah. It's kind of a weird feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I almost threw this back, you guys. It's got a couple fuzzies. It's Hannah Anderson, and I don't know much about little girl clothes. I know she's popular, um, but well, I don't know if the. You just picked what? up a. 
good brand. You just picked up a really good brand. Hannah Anderson sells for a high amount. Yeah, it needs to be like sweater shaved. See, it's got fuzz balls all over it. So I think that's why other people didn't grab it. But I went ahead and took a chance, and it's a sweater dress, I believe. So, oh, what size is it? I don't know. It said 150. What? They always have the weird sizes. It says 150. Mm. Let me see. It looks like it might be a seven and seven eight maybe. It's cotton, my cotton, nylon, and wool. Doesn't say the size. It says 150. Anybody know? I've had that. Look, there's a grass stuck in it. Like this, this thing needs a little bit of work. <laughs> yeah. You that could go on posh. The Hannah Anderson. Okay. People look uh, for that. Okay. Here's a BKE, like a thin t shirt. It's a medium, and my 11 year old is just starting to wear the teenager stuff. So I picked this up for him. Super thin. What is this called? Do you know? Yeah, it's a burnout shirt. I, oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. Oh, like the different color. It's even textured a little. Uh, I'm not positive what the name of that one is. Maybe one of the girls can tell you. It's like splattered or something. U.S. size 12 is what she said, the 150. Okay, yeah, that's bigger than my granddaughter. So I'm going to wash that. Uh, this I couldn't resist. It's just from Target. Exhilaration size medium. But it's that dark blue, and I'm a sucker for dark blue. It's just a... Yes. Yeah, it's a really cute dress, size medium. That's really cute. You know, I notice everybody's getting a lot of clothes right now in this month because everybody's emptying out their closets. For right? Christmas. Yeah, and they probably will after they get their presents, too. They won't be able to fit their stuff in their closet, so then they'll donate it, right? Right, yeah. It's going to be crazy after Christmas. Yeah. That's why I'm hoping after Christmas. Awesome. Um, this is a black tank that I think I'm going to keep for myself. Um, I think it's a white okay, like tank, but it's cool. It's got this black drop right there. It's where a sports. Oh, yeah. The mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's just by the brand Champion. Is it, it says an extra small, but it's pretty big. Um, that's from Target, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think so. It may be too small for me, but. Well, all I see is a circle right now. I don't know if anybody else is seeing it, but all I see is your face in a circle right now. Oh, there you go. There you are. I saw your face in a circle. Who was that? Uh, it was just the, the feed went off for a minute. That's what happened earlier. I couldn't hear you or, or see you or anything. It just went black. Yeah. But this I, time it was. A yeah, I saw that. The whole camera went down. I had to reopen the whole page. Bro. Yeah. So this is a uh, got a flaw, but luckily the button is still there, you guys. But I somehow missed little seamstress over there. I need to uh, tie this in a knot. Wonder. I think my fingers are gonna be small enough. All right. I might be able to save this right here, right now, live. I hear a bird. Oh, I thought you were hearing my daughter. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sure if I can get this to tie one more time. Almost. It was cold last night here. 39 what? degrees. 39. Wow. It's like all sunny here. Yeah, it's 60 degrees today. It's super nice and sunny here in Vegas. Anyways. Oh, I'm Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Um, That's cute. Yeah, it's a dress, but it, the button needs to be. I need to fix this little button. The string's about to lose the button. So that's an easy fix. I don't know the brand, though. It's just a size small. Super cute. Might have an RN yeah. number on the inside of where the instructions are. To yeah. get the brand. It does have that, luckily, but we'll do that later. Um, 
Oh, yeah. This was cool, you guys. It's kind of like a gray white. And I was holding it up, and the lady next to me was like, ooh, that's pretty. It's really funky. Can you see that? Oh, it's cute. Um, okay. Oh, it's serious. Oh, that's it's a nice hard. skirt. See through it oh. underneath. Solid, yeah. Yeah. You know, this is a J.C. Penney's brand. I do believe I saw. Wait. And is this Target? One of the two. It's J.C. Penney or Target. Who, what, where? It's Target, I think. My daughter said. Yeah, probably. Are you on your daughter's phone or your phone? No, I'm on mine. Okay, all right. No, my daughter's playing on playing Pokemon Go on hers. Oh, does anybody still play that? Nobody talks about it. I do. <laughs> I do. You do? Oh, yeah, there's a lot that play it still. Wow. Here's some H&M shorts. They're just a size small, but they're really cute. Mint green color block. Oh, yeah. That's nice color block. Yeah, they're super cute. Oh, how this was heaven when I found it. They're a size large, like yoga capris. All I see is a circle again. Right now? You know, yeah. it's probably because your internet. Um, I don't it know. It might be. Might be because of your internet. If not, y'all let me know. If you just you know, see that, At least you can hear me. But the athletic wear is, is, uh, is this is the time to put up the, there you are, there you're back. The athletic wear, this is the time to put it up because everybody's going to be doing the, you know, they're going to lose weight for the New Year's. Yeah, this one's just Old Navy, but it's still a really good, thick quality material. They're like a blue, maybe dark blue. Um, mm -hmm. so these will definitely fit me. That's cool. They got a cut right back here. So I'm going to try these on and see if they fit me. They feel like they've already been washed and they're clean, ready to go. But since they were at the bins, I can see oh, you yeah. both. Okay. Grandma Wrinkle says she can see us both, so I think your internet probably fades in and out since you're driving. Yeah, I think so, too, probably. Okay. I'm over here by the strip, so it's a major, major um, interference, so. Oh, yeah. Here's a, a jumpsuit romper two-piece or one-piece. It's by Fancy. I don't know who that is, but I never pass up rompers. So this one's a ruffle. Needs to be steamed it's got pockets and they're like a jogger capri so cute you guys yeah i never pass up rompers either i don't blame you there <laughs> yeah they're so freaking cute and they sell on posh always okay oh, yeah. I, have, I have a bunch that didn't sell on ebay i'll have to put them on posh this, this year oh yeah yeah for sure Found a pair of really cute amethyst uh, jeans with this lace detailing. Uh, what size? These were a nine, so I'm going to see if I could try to fit these this coming summer. I doubt it, but we'll try and see, especially since this is a junior size. But these are kind of short. <laughs> Put those in my I might keep pile. There you go. Check this out, Gina. I never find I can't, I can't see you right now. Oh, you can't at all? Nope. All I see is a circle of you, and I, I can hear you, but that's about it. All I see, again, I'm, I'm on the strip right now, so I think it's just a little hairy right now. Okay. I think this, guys, is a Target brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this G-A-I-A-M, Gayam. Got the flower star. Um, there you are. There you are. I see you now. Let me see you. Uh, have you seen this brand? Not at all. Yeah, I think it's a Target. Mm -hmm. I think it's a Target brand. Um, it's got padding and it's a like a workout dress. Oh, so cute! The cool strappy back. I call that a strappy back. Is there another word for it? Um, I don't think so. I think that's probably the best word I it's would put. Not removable breathable padding what is this size a medium but it's a long like tennis skirt or something i don't know i just picture someone playing tennis or something in this i think that's exactly what it is it's, it's stretchy right oh yeah 
like it's like yoga Almost. pants and they're really thick yeah it's probably a tennis skirt yeah why you'd want to place tennis in a skirt i'll never understand right so here's a shirt i think my hubby will probably keep it oh i don't know if he will he's not that into star wars but this is a star wars shirt and he's got a boom box and it's extra Aww. large, so he might keep it. I don't know. I'll have to show it to him. I know tons of people who are obsessed with Star Wars. Yeah, there's a lot. But he's I see him. I, there's a lot going on over here in the strip. <laughs> is the rodeo over yet, or is it still going on? What? Is the rodeo still going on? Oh, no. Yesterday was the Sunday was the last day of the rodeo. Uh, the, yeah. Everybody went home. I took a bunch of I took a bunch of cowboys home. Right. So sorry, them go. <laughs> yeah. Look, guys, I was happy to find this, even though it's Old Navy. It's a large uh, summer tank dress, but it's got a fair. Oh, that's. Oh, the. Yeah, and it's. Oh wow! Look at all that fair design on it. Yeah, it's got the Ferris wheel. Some. I know. Right. Oh, that's very cute. Yeah, and it's just a summer dress. Uh huh. Super cute, you guys. I don't even know if anyone ever wore it. If they did, they wore this thing one time because it is like brand new. Made in India. It's just poly and cotton and stuff. Super cute, you guys. There's nothing wrong with it. And it does have a very nice, really, really white slip underneath of it. So, um, here's another shirt that I'm going to give to my 11 year old. It might be a little too big, but it's a uh, Old Navy size medium shirt. We'll wash this one. If he doesn't wear it this year, he'll wear it next year. Oh, that's the paint. Okay, one more big bag. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll get to finish it before all the boom bam gets here. But we're going to cut the bag open and keep going. That's good. 523. All right. Oh, this is so cute. It's almost like what I'm wearing today, you guys. Sadie and Sage. I'm not familiar with that. Wait a minute, Sadie and Sage, I think that's anthropology. Yeah, look at it, it's so cute. It's got some tassels. Brown. Yeah, that's like a, a peasant type shirt. Right? Or, bo or boho. There's a we the free people, we free, whatever you call it. It's oh, kind it's of, cool. yeah, nothing special. Is that a dress or a shirt? It's a shirt, sweater, yeah. Okay. There. Oh, that's cute. I, you kept cutting out. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Sorry. I'm going fast. It feels like Dad's here, but I'm not sure. It's a Nike boy small pair of pants. These are way too big for my Rylan. Oh, y'all can't see. But then there were no holes. Usually when people donate these Nike pants, they have holes in the knees. Or I look at the Nike swoosh. It's that sticker, and it's not. It's like brand new, you guys. I just sold a pair of Nike pants for a good forty dollars. Yeah, my husband just bought some. Well, he went to Kohl's, and he decided he's going to stop wearing blue jeans to work, and he's going to wear sweats because the guys that work with him have been wearing that, and so. He went to Kohl's to buy like some of those and he was like, yeah, right. They were $50 each Heather. He said, I just got the cheap, like champion, like the target brand or can't think of the brand, but I'm proud of him for not spending the $50 for it. Here's a really cute banana Republic plaid long sleeve, but this is special because it's got the bib collar or whatever you call this. It's like it reminds me of the dragon with the 
thing underneath. Uh huh. I can't. Unfortunately, I can't see right now. Well, on the test, it's just got ripples kind of going down uh, the button down. So it uh, looks faded oh. in the video. Like a fantail? Like a fantail? I don't know. <laughs> it's Banana Republic Extra Large, you guys. You're back. Oh, you can see me now? Oh, right here. Yeah. Uh, ruffle? Oh, oh, you know what? That looks like a vintage secretarial uh, dress. I just sold a couple of those. Well, that's a shirt, but... Yeah. You could put in call... a vintage secretary kind of style. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. There's an Erin Hall. I keep mentioning her on a couple of my videos. I just found her on YouTube. Erin Hall, I believe. H-A-L-L. She talks about J Crew, and I throw J Crew like it's Target brand, right? Like I don't even care about J. I don't care about J Crew, but this chick Erin Hall, she will tell you that she freaking loves J Crew, J Crew, J Crew, J Crew. So I found these excellent condition J Crew shorts. They uh, are perfect, and it says. A uh, hip slung, I guess. So I went hip in what? Hip slung. Oh, okay. They sit on your hips. Okay, got it. I guess so. These are a size six. They're ninety-eight percent cotton, two percent spandex. So I picked up those bad boys. Oh, those are cute. Now I think I need to wash this because I think there's some dust on it. Um, mm -hmm. I have a lot of luck with this mustard yellow, you guys, so make sure you pick it up. Uh, this is just the Ivy Jane. It's kind of like, kind of like flying tomato to me, but it, oh. to me, it, this brand doesn't sell as well on Poshmark. Um, but I have high hopes that this jacket will sell for a lot. Because the mustard yellow is orange, yellow, whatever you want to call it, is so right. popular, super popular, not to mention the whole thing is decked out in embroidery in the back. Yeah, and I can't see it because the darn thing went out. I, but I saw, when I saw it in the beginning, I like the big buttons, too. Yeah, it's a trench coat. Uh, yeah, it's a trench, it's a trench coat. Yeah. One hundred, like an empire, right? And and what? I'm sorry. I said it looks like it's got an empire waist. It buttons kind of like under the breast area. Yeah, which I don't even know what an empire waist is. That's so funny. It's just a high waist instead of going by your natural waist. It's almost under. It's like under your your uh, your chest, and. It just it gives a longer illusion that you have you're longer on your legs. Gotcha. Like from pleated in the back. Yeah, it's super cool, you guys. It's a hundred percent cotton too, so that's gonna be a great seller. Embroidered on the collar there too. Yeah, it looked really cute. Thank you. It's kind of yeah. heavy, mm -hmm. so I'll paid up for it in the weight, but I never have any luck finding anything mustard. It's rare, girl. I find it like once a month or once or twice a month. This is super cute, you guys. I'm keeping it. It's just a, you know, office career shirt. And it's got that long butt top. <laughs> got a huge extra layer over there to cover up my big butt. Uh, so it's a large investment brand. I think that's just like... A mall brand or JC Penney's too, something like that. I don't know. Don't quote me. It's cute. It's got some gold buttons there. Um, I still can't see, so. Oh, <laughs> I hear your blinker going off. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now I can see you. Oh, look, guys. It's rare. I never find a peplum lace top, and this one's peplum. Um, cute. And it buttons all the way down half the back these cute little gold and white buttons 
<laughs> Monteo, Monteo, however you pronounce it, Monteo. I like that it's got the pleated ruffles. Another lace piece. I think I might keep this one. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of cute. It's just got a lace crochet detail pom pom trim there. It's like brand new. So I thought it'd be cute underneath something. So I might keep that. Oh, I see it now. You see it? Okay, I learned my lesson. I don't throw vineyard vines like I do J. Crew. I learned my lesson that uh, vineyard vine sells really, really well. So I picked up a pair of these pants. This is 32 32. Does that mean that these are men? No. Yeah, I didn't think no, so. just a 30. Not necessarily, it doesn't mean that way, but. They're women's. It's just yeah. Pink. I, I, okay, there they are. They're pink? Yeah. But men can wear pink. I actually I, think it might be a It's because it's 32 waist, 32 inseam. It might be a man's. I okay. looked it up on uh, Vineyard Vines. You know why I think it's man's too? Because that's what size my husband normally has worn on his pants size his whole life that I've known him, 32, 32. Here's a scarf, but I only got this. I see they scarfs are donated like crazy where my bins. But this one says Oscar de la Renta. Oh yeah, that's vintage. Is it? Yeah, it looks vintage. It's old yellow and orange. How do you tell if they are men? Well, I heard it goes by those numbers. Like women, we don't have pants sizes in 32, I don't think, do we? This uh no here that's well unless it's a plus size unless it's a plus size and then you can tell but even then i think we go up to 28 20 you know so men's men's go by the inseams we don't go by the inseams yeah seven eight nine oh, what is it uh trudy says she has a pair of darker pink ones very good yeah. Y'all are asking the wrong person over here, but I'm pretty sure women's don't go by two like that. Mm -mm. So, just like Trudy, think of it this way: like when you go shopping for pants and you buy a six, an eight, a ten, a twelve, we have our twenty-eight, twenty-six, twenty-nines. It's rare that you see a 32, and if you did see a 32 in women's, it would be, like, massive on the waist. Exactly. You know what I mean? So this, yeah, um, just think of it when you're buying your own pants, I would have to say. That's the only way I can explain them. <laughs> yeah, I would think yours are men, too, just like mine. That's crazy. They're pink. Vineyard vines, though. It's like the boat wear, so those... Uh, yeah. upper, upper class people wear those kind of girly colors nowadays for sure. Um, this I couldn't resist getting. It's an American girl skirt. Ooh, I had to get this. It's super heavy, but it's Chico's. I'm not too crazy about Chico's size two, but it seems like it's an extra large. Really? Yes. Really nice, is it? It's a vanity sizing. The Chico's is used as vanity sizing. So pretty uh, much it's... it's oh, yeah. And that's it's, cute. That's oh, cute. pretty, you guys. Look. That's a nice color blocking, too. Yeah, and that white is so clean. Oh, and that one will, that one will sell well. So soft, you guys. Are you going to get it for yourself? Are you going to keep it for yourself? Or are you just going to get You're not going to keep it for yourself. That's too big. I don't, yeah, I don't wear extra larges. Thank goodness for that. I know I talk a lot of crap about my big hips, but I wear an extra large in my bottoms, not in an extra large in a dress. Yeah, no, that would be too big, but that, that's cute. Yeah, Trudy. It did, Trudy says it confused it her on the color of the pants. And she says she just didn't think a man would wear that color, but yes, they do. 
Yeah, they do. Over there, the floor, two of them, the striped one and the gray one right there. Uh, here's another item. I think this is a JCPenney's brand, probably Metro 7, but it was cute. I think it's a, it's a really short, short dress. And y'all know I love that royal blue. <laughs> I can't see you again, but yeah, I like royal blue too. Um, and it's kind of like the leaves or something. I don't know. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Kid will be home yeah. anyway. Here's a size six Adida pants. So I picked these up. There were no holes. I'll probably keep these for Ryland. We'll throw those in the wash. All right, here's a Marona. It's a Target extra large dress, but it's cute. Uh, this is the one I was thinking earlier. Probably goes with that other dress. This red one. Looks like the same size. So this is a seven. I can't um, see. That's a seven. And this one says an extra large. We'll compare it. Well, maybe the green one is quite a bit wider. <laughs> yeah, it is. Anyways, it's got the same detail as you guys can see from my point of that. Got a box. It's super cute. It has pockets. I love those. Okay, I found a pair of faux leather pants. This looks like an anthropology tag. I don't know if it is. It's called. Oh, no, you're back. Yeah, I think it is. Life in progress. I actually think that is anthropology. And they're just some black pants. They're like plastic, aren't they? Leather. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess you'd say plastic, but pleather leather. Oh, vinyl. Yeah, something like Onto that. Onto my listing mine for Trudy. I don't know. I go to the solds on Poshmark, and I will determine it there. So I'll search for the men's um, stupid necklaces or twisting. Both of them. I look on eBay too. I use the eBay sold. Yeah, I would first go to Poshmark because Poshmark is more into those upper class, richy uh, stuff, even though I know eBay is, but Poshmark really does have that crowd over there. Uh, the boat, you know, vacation people, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Well, actually, um, you know, um, there's an East Coast seller, I forgot his name right now, but him and his wife are uh, selling, and they always sell vineyard vines, and he sells on eBay, always. Um, I forgot his name. He's up in Maine or something. You can go to eBay and Posh then for sure. Um, yeah. Honestly, I can tell you, Trudy, that they will be listed for $35 or more because I do know that Vineyard Vines is a good brand. Um, I'm almost yeah. done, guys, and I'm going to try to hurry before Ryland gets here and starts screaming and yelling. He was pretty rough this morning. Um, here's just this yeah. cool tie-dye-looking cardigan. I wanted to throw it back, but I can't resist the colors. And this is called About a Girl. I think it's like a JCPenney's brand, too. I don't know. I wanted to throw that back, but it's so pretty. Okay, cool. Two more pieces. I'm going to feed him. Home. Um, these are a size six slim Wrangler Retro. Oh, uh, yeah. little boys' jeans. I got these for Rylan. That's cute. The oh, they're cute. Yeah, the W oh. pocket are cute. They're cute. They look cute. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, I can read couldn't resist buying them for a dollar when I go school shopping these pants are like thirty dollars each for school and I just paid a dollar for them maybe yeah get them when you can okay yeah, sure. guys last piece and somebody confirmed with me he was an older man kind of semi-older not too much older but maybe this piece is from the 70s 
I think it was the 70s. It might have been the 50s. I can't remember. Maybe you guys can help me determine that. Um, it's got staples in the tag because of a dry cleaning tag, I assume. Yeah. Um, it does have some staining inside here on the collar a little bit. But this says, made expressly for Colt Creant Corp in the Crown Colony of Hong Kong. It's super vintage, you guys. But you're going to be shocked when I show you what this is. The whole thing as beadwork this beautiful obviously you can tell some of them are missing i need to send it to gina right <laughs> joking um the whole thing is so beaded out you'll have to go to the end of this video gina look at the sleeves you got me. big old bead. and it's what is not, it? do what what is it what is it is it a dress or what is it um, it's like a cardigan or a coat or a blazer. Um, it's got the vintage little snappies here, the metal snap. Is the collar, is the collar, there's a collar on it, right? Yep. Is it like a V collar? <laughs> Pointy? Yeah. Okay, that's 70s. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got a belt back here that's fully beaded too. I'm so excited for this, you guys. Um, come across a lot of ugly. Ooh, I can't put. I cannot put this on. It's too small. But anyways, here's the sleeve on. I guess you can see through my arm, the skin through the color. Just trying to show you guys what it looks like. It's so cool. Take it off. Got pearls, blue beads, all kinds of goodies. So that's my last and final piece. I thought this was worth the money. And I hope I find a new owner for it. Uh, thanks, Grandma Wrinkles. She says it's 70s for sure. Look at these buttons, you guys. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Well, let, me oh, show you the, let me show you the sleeve, Gina. Oh, my gosh. That's absolutely gorgeous. Right? I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm, oh. not, I'm not leaving this. Let me show you the tag because it has that collar, like the Elvis collar or whatever. Definitely 70s. Definitely. Yeah, here, look, here's the okay. tag. Hong that Kong. Might even, that might even be the late 60s. Yeah, it's pretty old, you guys. Oh my gosh, yeah, you need to put that high. Look at the belt on the back, Gina. Oh, that is beautiful. It's completely beaded up, you guys. So is there very many beads missing? Um, I mean, not visibly, no. What scares me is there's little threads here and there sticking, so it makes me think a bead has been missing. But you can't tell because it's so beaded up that you can't right. see. You can't really see any. Well, you just let them know that, and anybody that's oh yeah really wants it fixed for sure. But yeah, I I definitely put it on the higher guys. I think the um, inside here is probably silk, maybe possibly. I do think that this is like a silk pillowcase material. Here, I know that's good. But that's good. it's it's good. It's lined. That's very good. It's lined. It's got a a softer uh, feel than the silk. So it's definitely like an expensive silk. So it's not like the cheap, thin silk off of this, which this is actually pretty soft, but it's really thin. This is a thicker silk. So. Woo woo. It's with this hey, I, might go, I might go on later on to do um, a listing. Okay. Some listings. Okay, let me know if you do. I don't know what we're eating. Yeah, because okay. I'm not going to drive tonight because i got to work early in the morning, so I'm not going to drive tonight. Mm -hmm. I worked a 12-hour shift yesterday. 
That's insane. Gotta make that Christmas money, right? Yeah. She's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grandma Wrinkle says it's uh, definitely agree the 60s. It's during the Twiggy era. I don't know what the Twiggy uh, era is. Oh, Grandma, that is awesome. You, I so agree with you. Okay, Twiggy was a um, a model, but she they called her Twiggy because she was so, like, tiny. I mean, there was nothing to her. Let me just, right, Grandma Wrinkles? She was just, like, skin and bones. Twiggy, that sounds, but, like, yeah. Look her up. Look her up, and you'll see. But uh, that just reminds me so much of the 60s. <clears throat> From you the think, 60s? Yeah, you think about 65, maybe? Grandma Wrinkles? Maybe 60. Why do I want to say 63? Twiggy was a high fashion model back in the day. Very cool. I'll look her up. Hey, my husband called me. I hope he didn't ask me to go get the littlest one from school. So I got about 10 minutes if he does to get there. Or uh -oh. two, two minutes to get there. So, okay, yeah. Text me if you go live, Gina. I'll probably come on with you. Do that. I'll text you if I go live, and hopefully, yeah. You know what, guys? I think I am gonna go live. Give me a couple hours, and um, I don't know how to pre-do it, so this is gonna be brand new for me, guys. So um, look for me, and I will go live. Give me about, I don't know, two hours. About two hours. Okay. Okay. Hey, sounds good. Like should be eaten by then. Eating food. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Heather. I'll give you a, a text then. Okay. Thank you. Let me join your um, your haul video. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming and hanging out, guys. We'll see y'all soon. Peace out. Bye-bye, guys. See you later. Bye.